hi I hope you guys are doing well so today I thought I would do a video for you with my top 10 favorites on uh, products that will help you survive the first three months with a newborn baby so my baby is now five months old I feel like I have graduated from that period and I am now qualified to talk to other mothers about this topic so without any further ado, let's get started. So here's my number 10. This is a Bond Wonder suit, and this is basically a long sleeve, long leg onesie. And it's got a few really clever design features. First of all, it's got a zip as opposed to snap buttons, which is just easier full stop. Just to prove that I actually do have a baby, he's um, making a bit of noise in the background, please excuse. <laughs> so as I said, it's got a zipper, which is great. The zipper can be opened two ways, so up the top as you normally would, as well as um, through the foot here, which is really cool because then you can just take off the bottom piece, change the nappy and put it back on again without having to take the whole thing off, It's great. And then lastly, which I really like, is it's got little um, fold over legs and also little fold over hands. And this is <laughs> really cool because it basically means you don't even have to worry about socks or mittens. They're just built in and you use them or you don't use them. So Bond is actually an Australian brand. They, I believe they do actually ship worldwide. So I will leave the link down below if you want to check it out. I'm sure there's other companies that do similar designs, but just look out for those design features. And I think, you know, just don't waste your time with snap buttons is all I'm saying. My number nine is a Love to Dream 50-50 Swaddle. And this is essentially a sleeping bag that comes with little wings attached so you effectively swaddle your baby with their arms up and that way they can they can they still have a little bit of movement and they can actually still suck their thumb or suck their hand which helps them soothe themselves so that worked quite well for my son and the other thing that's really cool about this is you, it's got some zips here so when you're ready to transition your baby you can just take the, the wings off and use this as a standard sleeping bag so you've effectively got two products in one and the other thing, uh, there's actually a reason why the waist here is a little bit narrower and the reason being is that this apparently gives them the illusion of being swaddled, just feeling a little bit tighter. And then down here for hip health, uh, it's actually wider. So this is a really cool product, I would recommend this, particularly even if you find the swaddling doesn't work out, then you just have a sleeping bag. So. You know, you can't go wrong really. Number eight, on the topic of swaddling, there's a million different types of blankets out there and you will read about um, receiving blankets and muslin cloths and bunny rugs and I was really really confused about all the different terms so I would like to shed some light for you because you might actually be in the same boat so this is what they call a bunny rug and that's basically a cotton blanket that is really stretchy and this is what I would recommend for swaddling you can really you know um, wrap your baby into it and then if the baby starts kind of kicking as they do uh, the, the swaddle or the bunny rug will give whereas with a muslin cloth which is what most people recommend there's usually no give at all so then it's either you know either the baby is really uncomfortable and you will just hear grunting all night long or the baby will break out whereas I found these type of bunny rugs they work really well so my number seven is a book and there's an app as well actually it's called the wonder weeks and this talks about the fact that there's not only growth spurts that babies go through but there's also mm. mental development phases basically brain development and it's talking about um, diff that the baby's going through different leaps of development and that these leaps can be predicted from a timing point of view and that it's actually well known how babies will behave and what new skills babies will learn so in that way you know you can actually look it up if your baby is very fussy or if your baby is not sleeping or just changing in general you can actually read up on it and you know find out why that is and what your baby is learning how long it's gonna last which you're probably interested in and how you can help your baby get through this sleep number six this only applies to breastfeeding mums but if you are you want to get yourself one of those lotions uh, they're called Lencino google it enough said Number five is a small baby bath, but even more so, an infant insert for that baby bath. So the infant, infer, infant insert looks something like this. So you basically, you just pop this into your bath. And let me tell you, in the first few weeks when you have a newborn baby, super fragile, you don't really know how to touch them and hold them, and you have to support the head, and you're just so scared you're going to break them. And then you combine that with wet, slippery bath time, possibly down on your knees, <laughs> you, 
you're just gonna want any help that you can get trust me and I got this insert um, in my baby shower from another another mother and another mother of three so she obviously knew what she was talking about or she obviously knew what she was doing by giving this to me so I thank you very much Anissa I much appreciate it it has made my life a lot easier my number four is a Moses basket or a bassinet or a coast leaf bar basically anything that is a bit smaller than a cot something that you can have next to your own bed when the baby's sleeping and <laughs> let me tell you in times where you are sleep deprived and you're probably getting up every two to three hours to feed the baby if you have the baby close by so that you can just reach out while you're still in bed while you're still you know snoozing basically and put the baby's tummy back in or just squeeze the baby's hand or just rock them slightly or whatever it is you need to do to put them back to sleep if they don't actually have to be fed you can even keep your eyes closed if you want to uh, and you probably do want to then believe me there is worth any money you're gonna spend on an additional piece of furniture my number three is a bouncer any bouncer really will do but in particular the baby beyond bouncer and so you want a bouncer in general any bounce is better than no bouncer because you want to have somewhere safe where you can sit your baby because baby can't be on you all day long and baby doesn't sleep all day long so you know you just need to have baby needs to have a chair or something <laughs> um, the baby beyond bouncer in particular and this is not cheap this is probably twice if not even three times the price of other bouncers but I think it's well worth it and um, if you know me I have recommended this to so many of my friends I have actually got two of those, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, so that gets to show how much I love it. So first of all, it's really well made, as anything by the Baby Beyond brand. Um, it has a slightly higher weight limit than other bouncers, so you can go up to 9 kilos in the bouncy setting, and then you can change the configuration to make it a little chair for, um, I believe, up to 11 kilos. Now, a couple of clever design features. So this doesn't have any batteries. It basically bounces when baby moves slightly and then you know when my baby was about three months he figured out how to actually bounce himself which was awesome and until then we would just bounce we would just kind of um, put our foot on it and bounce it with our foot which worked really well and honestly the first few months when our baby was fussing we would put him in the bouncer we'd bounce him and he would fall asleep <laughs> it's amazing so which brings me to the next really great design feature it has three different um, height settings so you can start off in an almost upright position but then if or when the baby falls asleep you can actually lower it down um, and then the baby is basically almost lying down and then lastly um, the fabric can be completely removed and machine washed which once you've had your first nappy explosion and you're relying on the bouncer you're gonna want to wash it really quickly <laughs> dry it really quickly so you can have your bouncer back and this is also one of the reasons why I've got two because I didn't want to wait the, you know 12 hours or whatever it takes to wash and then wait for it to dry I love my bouncer so much that I'm actually considering putting this in my suitcase on my overseas trip let that sink in <laughs> my number two is a sound snail and I haven't got it with me here because it's actually attached to my son's cot so I will insert a clip and the sound snail is two things three things really in one first of all it is a sound machine that will play either music or a white noise so that's really good you know for settling your baby for a nap or even settling your baby for the night then secondly it will also project images up onto the ceiling so baby's occupied just watching little animals coming up on the ceiling and then thirdly it's also a little night light that has changing colors so go check it out I'll leave the link below my number one is I think another Australian product and it's called a fly baby and again I haven't got it here I've got it in my car so I'll insert a clip of how you would use it and I think the number one purpose of the fly baby is actually to use it as the name would suggest on an aeroplane and basically it is a mesh dome that you can just attach to a plane bassinet and it will then help shelter your baby from any light noise any nosy passengers and basically help baby hopefully fall asleep and stay asleep longer so this is it for my top 10 baby newborn must-haves 
I would love to hear from you guys if you have any products that you thought you just would not have survived the first three months with. Just leave a comment down below. I'll, I will check it out and I hope you have found this useful. If you'd like um, a more detailed review of any of the products I have talked about today, also just leave me a comment down below and I would love to film another video. So with that being said, it is Friday here in Sydney. I'm hoping you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Here we have the Chanel wallet on chain in the Chevron line. This is the navy, navy blue color with silver hardware. So at the moment this is empty. I've just got a few cards in here but the main compartment is empty. So I'll show you how I would usually set this up.